it's been a while that I did a tutorial, uh, right? So we're gonna learn a few things today. Hello, this concealer, man. I'm look at that, so pretty. Hello, hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Akanksha. Do you say anything different? Anything new? Uh, I mean, I think you already must have seen the vlog, but I just got my hair cut and colored yesterday and I feel like as good as new. Some new hair, like a new fresh haircut and hair color just gives such nice uh, vibe and I really like what I did. Especially this color inspired me to do the look I'm going to do today because somehow I went a shade uh, down. So, you know. <laughs> Again, you must have seen the vlog, but I'm so excited. I just got it done yesterday and I really... If you want to see the vlog of the hair uh, thing, then I'll put the link right here. You can definitely see cosplays, everything. Uh, but coming to today's video, if you read the title already, you know what makeup we are going to do today. Nice summer makeup look. I'm not claiming this to be just like a five minutes or like 10 minutes uh, makeup look. It's definitely going to take time, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast you do your makeup. But this is like a universal look, ultra glam, but still very, very uh, minimal. So you can do it to office. You can do it in the night. You can do anywhere just tween things here and there so let's get started yeah. Okay, so I am starting off and the first product I'm going to use is the e.l.f. Poreless uh, Putty Primer. Now, I really like this one to fill the pores. I only use a primer when I have a situation where my pores are too much visible and I want to fill it. And usually in the summer because it's hot, my skin is more oily, my pores do appear to be a lot bigger. So this kind of deep does help uh, fill the pores. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Tap on this area and you are good to go i already did my sunscreen my skincare etc so if you are stepping out without sunscreen especially during summer you're supposed to wear it throughout the year fii even indoors but even in summer if you step out without sunscreen i do not know like i who hurt you bro i mean by the way what do you think i just like put on a different background because i thought you guys must be bored with the plain white one i mean that's definitely always there it's like i really love it but just thought i'll switch it up to go in and add some primer water this is an additional step you can skip this if you want but it's been a while i applied my moisturizer so i'm just going to add this to kind of rehydrate the face okay next step again it is summer so we are going to tend to get oily we don't want to look greasy as hell especially if you have oily skin i have multiple tips here for oily skin if you do want to check it but one main thing i always do especially if i know that i'm going to keep my makeup on for more than like seven to eight hours and i do not want to get oily at all then i go in with my powder you can take any powder take a powder which is a little bit lightweight and you can use a sponge or a brush uh, whatever you have on hand just take a little bit of powder damp it on the back of your hand just go ahead and damp it like stamp it right here i only do it here and here because that's the area i get most oily so you can cho choose you can't choose <laughs> you can apply it wherever you get oily a lot so for somebody it can be forehead or nose or like uh, lip area so like a lot of people sweat a lot on their lips so you can you know kind of powder it accordingly i just take a thin layer you can say almost on the t-zone like you can see the rest of the face has the hydration but the center part stays mad because that's the part which gets oily the rest of the face does not get oily for me it's been a while that i did a tutorial uh, right so we're gonna learn a few things today so next step is our base i'm always a base first kind of person so you can do eyes first for you eyes first now we want to make this makeup as minimal looking and as like 
glowy natural as possible but to get there you have to be patient and you have to build things up properly for me like makeup is kind of like cooking in a way like when you slow cook like you taste how amazing food uh, tastes right and it's the same way for um, makeup also i feel like the more light layers and the more patient you are with building your uh, base the more natural it's going to look so first up i'm going in with the inside cosmetic hd concealer and this is in the shade it sucks that they don't have the shade on the packaging but i will definitely put it on the screen so this shade is a lot darker on me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use it to kind of conceal and color correct the acne scars because i want the base to be as minimal as possible so once we hide what is, what is a little dominant the rest will not need like a heavy layer of uh, foundation i'm going in with my real techniques deluxe crease brush i really like it for concealers <laughs> See that tiny bit of concealer kind of just neutralized my face in in a way so now i can just go in with a thin layer of foundation and everything will look a nice and even for foundation i'm going in with the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation one of the best one no matter what your skin type is it just will suit you dry skin oily skin suits everybody just a little bit and go ahead and pat it into your skin so nice even out and it still looks very minimal it just is a very light layer of foundation so nothing is like heavy or anything it just still looks like skin but better next moving on to concealer i am again going in with the inside cosmetics hd concealer but this is in the shade mn20 i bought the wrong shade like i when i reviewed it i told you guys and i told you i'll buy a lighter shade and i did because i honestly do really like it a lot one of the best concealers i have tried i'm just going to add a teeny bit under the eye It's a very self-setting uh, concealer. So if you have dry skin, I don't think you really have to use powder as well. But you can add like a tiny bit just so you prevent it from not creasing at all. It does not. So I'm just going to leave that concealer right there so that I get a little bit extra coverage with less product. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a cream uh, blush. So during the summer, like the lighter the base, the better so that you don't get really oily or it does not get really heavy and melt off. So um, I know like we have this thing that, you know, cream products make the makeup look so much more natural, etc. But when you do have oily skin, it um, kind of makes a little a little heavy and you kind of tend to get a little oily a little quickly as well so um be mindful of how much product you put on your face not because you know it's not maggy you can't just like put everything on and expect it to look nice so for cream blush i'm going in with the k beauty uh, cream blush and this is in the shade flirty nude again i'm going to take it on the back of my hand so that i can warm it up properly before i apply like directly when you apply stuff on your face it gets a little too difficult to blend and you won't have that space so if you it's on your back of your hand you can take a little bit work it on your hand as much as you want and spread it properly on your brush and then you can just go ahead and apply it so that you can start building it slow and steady i don't know why i said slow and steady just slow slowly slow and uh, hmm. slow and easily yes that's the word see like you can see that color it's so soft so blended into the skin but it's still there you can see that nice peachy coral look, nude color there i'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well you should see how i'm applying the position of it i'm going right from my uh, eyelid like the eyebrow arch until the end of my cheekbone so this way your makeup 
looks a lot lifted as well like the blush is on high point you can add it right here as well i generally do that especially when i'm not going for like a fully glam look so just just that just adds like a color makes you look a little bubbly but this is like you want that snatched look then this is where you apply i'm going to go ahead and blend this concealer because honestly it's self-setting and i let it be for way too long because i was talking Talking and doing makeup takes so much more time than just like sitting and doing. This literally would take me like 20 minutes too. But when I film it, it will easily take me like one hour to do this makeup. This concealer man, I'm... Look at that, so pretty. The concealer is blended. I'm going to go in back with the blush brush. I'm not taking any excess product whatever is left on the brush and blend it. Next, now I'm going in back with my Laura, Laura Mercier powder again with a sponge again tapping off the excess. This way you just have like a light layer of powder and not like a lot which makes you look cakey. See, just a nice light layer for the rest of the hair. Okay, nice and fresh. Next for bronzer, I'm going in with the Kiko Milano Flawless Fusion Bronzer Powder in the shade 05. A beautiful bronzer and a beautiful shade. It's just like that perfect shade for a bronzer. The majority of the face brushes I have are from Sheen except for the foundation and concealer one. So I'm just going to, again, if you want to know how to like place, put your hands right here and like feel your bone rate right here. Can start right above it and blend it into the skin. For blush, I'm again going in one of my favorite blush, especially the shade. I'm again going in with like a sheen brush and I'm going to go ahead, take the powder, always tap off the excess and stamp it right where you applied the bronzer right above it so like blush is the first thing which kind of fades away in your uh, uh, makeup so kind of like that cream and powder together makes it help stay for longer so if you do think like this edge is a little harsh so now i feel like you know it's not properly blended here i'll just go in with my powder brush or you can just take the sponge you used to set the face and just tap on it you don't need like excess product as well just tap 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 and it kind of like you know softens up see next moving on what do we have next can you guess what do I do next generally? Uh, generally, I go in with highlighter, but we'll do highlighter in the end. Let's move on to eyes, which is the best part. I'm so excited to do my eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and brush my brows. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. You can use any eyebrow pencil. I'm going to go ahead and fill that starting. That's all I do. I don't do anything more than that for my brows. They're pretty full, so I just don't want to make them a little more excess for no reason i'm using the morphe m224 brush i'm just going to i'm not going to add a lot of product just a very thin light layer you can see again i tap off the excess always i don't like a lot of product on the brush you can always pick up extra but you cannot undo what you've already done See, just that nice thin layer gives like so much definition to this eye compared to this. So today for eyeshadow, I'm using this iconic uh, London Day to Slay eyeshadow palette. It's one of my favorite palettes for like neutral uh, shade. So uh, first I'm going to go in with this shade. I'm just going to add that in the crease. My brush looks pink, but don't worry, it is a clean brush. I'm going to go ahead, pick that shade. I'm kind of going to add that on the crease this is basically just to set that concealer a little bit and add a little bit of definition as well just makes 
it easier to blend the rest of the shades or the darker deeper shades you might lay down next i'm going to go ahead and add this shade on the lid see very beautiful i love 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 that shade so much it's my skin but lit still darker so adds the right amount of shadow that i need going going in back with the same brush with the crease to blend out that brown going to go ahead and do the same thing on the lower lash line as well i only come till here i don't completely bring it inside i stop 3/4 of the way and do it out again so that my eyes don't look rounded but they kind of do look elongated now that is what i like for my face you guys so you don't honestly have to like like to have that elongated eyes you do according to how you like but that's something i like my face to look like and it just suits me as well so next for eyeliner we are going in with colourpop liquid eyeliner uh this is basically a brown liner black liner is so 2020 or even like old brown liner is the shit now i always anyways like use brown eye shadow to do it but now i i still do today i want it to be a little more precise and neat you can definitely go in with brown eye shadow with a thin brush it look fantastic but i've been lately using this eyeliner a lot and i really like it now again i only do it like halfway you can see what i do i just from the lower lash line i mark where i want it I'll go ahead and do the inner corner as well because again I like it. You don't have to just the look. I prefer do like a teeny V. Next for mascara, I'm going ahead and using the Benefit Bad Bang Bad Girl Bang mascara. Love this one. I recently started using it and uh, gives you so much length. So I generally uh, use setting spray before I go in with mascara, but today just like kind of slipped. off my mind uh, but one thing which is very important in your skincare so not in your skincare in your makeup routine is setting spray uh, especially if you mattify your entire face but you are somebody who does like a dewy finish then definitely go in with setting spray and dunk yourself in it just brings back that life you need uh, for your uh, face this is the one i want generally use as well is the two faced uh, uh, primer and setting spray but this one no matter how i apply once it dries down my face still looks uh, mad but when i want like a little more dewy finish then i go with the mac pre plus a uh, prime it just brings back a little bit life to the face so highlighter i'm going in with the elf highlighter this is in the shade 24k gold do a good job look at that look at that glow pretty right pretty pretty It's very important to blend your highlighter into the skin. If I leave it like this, it's still okay, but um, there's like a still a line there which I can visibly see. So just don't see how it glows, but see how it's melted off into your skin in the center. Just add it on the top. Don't add it right here. You Next for lipstick, I'm going in with the Simply Nam. a uh, lipstick and this is in the shade madhu by the time the lipstick dries down i'm going to go ahead and take the highlighter i used on my eye now that the lipstick is dry i'm going in with the elf lip plumping gloss So yeah guys that is it that is the finished look I really like how it looks it's so minimal but it just looks so beautiful all together like the eyes the blush like everything synchronizes so well and I really really um like it so I hope you guys found this useful and I hope you will like the video so this video shout out goes to Urmila Khula thank you Urmila for always loving and supporting it absolutely means the world to me if you 
want to be part of uh, next video shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag AKS and you can be a part and that's it thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye